Uh, well, I'll try to learn by me. So my goal of this project was to be able to create something that would be able to predict if a wildfire was going to start. Um, my design for this project was, well, something I decided in this project was a custom anometer, and I used that from a uh, Arduino, from a uh, Create the Arduino project. Some materials for my project were the breadboard, the innovator board, the humidity and temperature sensor, the Wi-Fi chip, the DC motor, and the two plastic spoons. Um, something about me testing it was I tested a large amount of times. Uh, some problems I encountered were the wires coming unsoldered, syntax errors, and cutting the spoons. Uh, something I would do in the future would be 3D printing a case for it and or making an app where you could view the current temperature or humidity or wind speed. So, a demo. So the way my project works is um, it, takes this, it takes the values from these sensors from this code and it uses the Wi-Fi chip to put them into a website called Ask Sensors which automatically grabs the data. So right here you can see my fan or which connects with predicts wind speed is there's just one spike because right now it's not moving so it wouldn't be giving any data but when I did move it it spiked up and then something what I do with this data is I put it through a Python code and what I'm able to do with this is it automatically checks the temperature and if it's over a certain amount it sends me an email so some example so Right here, it's checking for different temperatures. And in my code, I have it so that if the temperature is greater than 60 degrees, float is greater, or if float is less than 100, and if wind speed is greater than negative one, those are just example things. So it'll always send me an email just to, for an example. If I open the email, my, my email, which it'll send it to, it should be here. And I got the new email saying wildfire warning. So that's my project. Okay. Uh, does anyone have any questions for him? Yes. Is there a way you can figure out the level, like the the chances of getting a wildfire is too high? Uh, yeah, that high could also high. be something I uh, if I wish to continue this project, that could be something I worked on. Uh, I can make it send a different email depending on what the temperature was. So let's say if it was like greater than 80 degrees um, and wind speed was greater than five and humidity is less than 50, it would send me an email saying like low wildfire warning. But if it was greater than like 90 degrees, um, humidity is less than 20 and wind speed is greater than 15, I would say like high wildfire warning. So. Okay. Anyone else have questions for him? So what are the technologies you used again? You used Arduino? So right? I used an Arduino innovator board. Huh. I also used a temperature humidity sensor, the Wi-Fi chip, mm -hmm. and a DC motor connected to two plastic experience, which makes a homemade anometer, which is able to track wind speed. So you use an API to upload all this data yeah. to that yeah. server, and then you get that information in Python. Yes. With that API, okay. and I'm able to use a library to send my to send my to send an email to my account saying that there's a wildfire warning. Okay, sounds good. Anyone else have questions? Where are you saving all this data? This is uh, it's saved in something called it's saved in a website called Ask Sensors, which is basically um, a place where you can that, where you can put in different sensors and it gives you an API key and be able to put that into your code and using the Wi-Fi chip. You can send it to the website and it'll automatically plot them on a graph. So, yeah, that's what I used. All right. Um, all right, let's give them a round of applause.